What's good, YouTube? It's NBA and NBA 2K breaking news and reactions here. And today we have another video involving the Brooklyn Nets. As you see, I have my Nets shirt on, Kyrie Irving. But just a little bit ago, I made a video about Kevin Durant requesting a trade. You'll pro you guys will probably see this video first due to how long they take to upload for the longer videos. That one was about 10 minutes. This one will probably be more like 5 or 4 but the Nets are trading for Jazz power forward and small forward Royce O'Neal, who was a very good defender. And this is a win-now move for a team that is potentially trading away the second-best player in the NBA. My top three in the league go one, Giannis, two, KD, three, Jokic. They are potentially trading away the number two best player in the NBA, but now they're getting Royce O'Neal. KD's not going to stay, so I don't know why they're trying to do this. This is not really a replacement for KD, but they're getting Royce O'Neal in exchange for a first-round pick. That pick is a 2023 first-rounder. Adrian Wojnarowski tweets, Brooklyn is using an $11 million trade exception from the James Harden to Philadelphia trade. Bobby Marks of ESPN tweets. Brooklyn is sending the lesser of its own Houston or Philadelphia first-round pick. Wojnarowski adds in another tweet. The Sixers sent their first-rounder for next season to the Nets in the same deal. Houston has the right to swap its pick with Brooklyn's next season, courtesy of the four-way swap in 2021 that landed Harden in Brooklyn. O'Neal has a $9 million salary next season and a $9.5 million salary for 2023-24. However, that figure is only partially guaranteed for $2.5 million. So if they wanted to waive Royce O'Neal in next offseason, then they could, and they would only be owed $2.5 million. O'Neal, noted for his defensive prowess, has been a f fixture in Utah's lineup for the last three seasons. He averaged 7 points, 5 rebounds, and 2.5 assists in 31 minutes per game this past season, while appearing in 77 regular season games. The acquisition of O'Neal will likely diminish the possibility of the Nets re-signing free agent Bruce Brown. On the flip side, Utah's decision to trade one of its starters signals that the uh, other moves are on the way. The first rounder will give it an asset to dangle for another trade. So the Nets, this says that the Nets are potentially losing Bruce Brown, who has been a great player in the Nets starting lineup the last two years as just a really athletic guy that can score and play defense. He's kind of a 3 and D guy. I was uh, kind of hoping that they brought him back on like a three-year, $10 million or $10 million per season contract. But now it looks like he will be leaving tonight or whatever night that he ends up leaving in free agency. But nonetheless, he will be leaving in free agency is what it looks like. Royce O'Neal has never really been that great on the offensive side. But on the defensive side, that's where he shows what he's capable or what he's very good at. He's been in the league for five seasons, and his career averages are six points, five rebounds, and two assists. He's played 370 career games, and he shot 45, 38, 80, with a 56 effective field goal percentage for his career, with 21 win shares and a 10 PER. He's always been a pretty decent guy, but like I said, he's mostly known for his defense. This is a weird move for the Jazz, because I feel like uh, Royce O'Neal could have got them uh, multiple seconds rather than a first, which I feel like would have been more valuable in this situation, and this, may move, this move may mean that they are going into rebuilding mode and they could trade Rudy Gobert and or Donovan Mitchell away, or at least start by just trading Jordan Clarkson and or, Bogdan Bog or Boyan Bogdanovich away. So this is a crazy trade, and I forgot to say this in my last video, which you guys will probably be seeing after this, but for my Kevin Durant video, leave in the comments below where you guys think Kevin Durant will be headed. Uh, they could, the most likely scenario that I'm thinking of is the Nets trading Kevin Durant to the Phoenix Suns in exchange for DeAndre Aiden and a sign-in trade. They would also get Mikhail Bridges and future picks that uh, all the future picks that they can give up that they did not already use in the Chris Paul to the Suns trade. 
and they could form one of the best big threes in basketball history. I know that's what we we're saying about the, the Nets when they had Kevin Durant, Kyrie, and James Harden. But I feel like this lineup uh, could be better for the Suns. The Suns know what they're doing, and they have a arguably better coach than Steve Nash was. And now this is just crazy. The Nets are looking like they may blow it up. If, Because uh, if Kevin Durant gets traded, then I really think Kyrie will not want to stay in Brooklyn, and he may be gone by the start of the next season, uh, which is it, may, it makes the acquisition of Royce O'Neal a little bit strange because Royce O'Neal is already an older guy. His age is... He's already 29 years old. He's a six foot four guy that runs power forward. He's kind of a win now guy, and Brooklyn doesn't look like they seem to be doing any winning right now. And so thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.